Well, hey everyone, welcome to Throttle Power. We're the channel all about the throttle. And in this episode, we are at Honest Charlie Speed Shop in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Let's go check out Honest Charlie and see what he's got inside. This has always been one of my favorite speed shop, museum type places to stop at. It's kind of a hidden gem. Not not too many people know about it. And I, I don't know why, because uh, Honest Charlie's has been around for a long time. And, and I'll touch on the history of that here in a few minutes, on how he got his name, how he started the speed shop, and things like that. But what I wanted to do while I was going through Chattanooga, Tennessee, that's where this speed shop is located, or this museum is located, I should say. I wanted to stop, film it real quick, and show you guys that it's really, really, really cool and if you're ever in that area, I definitely recommend stopping in and checking it out. Go in, you, you, you enter into the gift shop. I'll show that here in a few minutes. Uh, or I should say the speed shop where they actually sell some car parts and stuff. A lot of, lot of uh, clothing and everything, t-shirts and stuff. I picked up some cool t-shirts too. They got the coolest t-shirts. But you go in there, you look around a little bit, you pay to go in. And you go through the door we just went through and this is kind of what you start seeing. And that there is an actual real woodworking shop where they actually build the real wooden wheels for all those cars way back in the teens. But you go in, then you go into this room and this is where the magic is, all the cool cars. And this room is just loaded with cool cars and tons of motorcycles. This is actually one of the largest collection of motorcycles I've ever seen in my life. And I'll show that too here in a minute. But um, we'll just kind of uh, walk around here and, and look and see what's in this cool museum. And again, I recommend you, you going if you ever stop in. They also rotate cars quite often. So every time I've gone in, I've always seen a lot of different cars, and it's always been set up a little bit different too. Obviously, the, pretty much the motorcycles and, every, and all the wall hangings and everything hanging from the ceiling stay the same, but they do rotate, a lot of, rotate out a lot of cars. A little brief history on Honest Charlie's. Honest Charlie, his real name, he was born in 1905. His real name is Charles Edward Carl Jr., through the 40s, Charles, we'll just call him Charles, he wasn't known as Honest Charlie yet. Through the 40s, Charles raced race cars on the weekends at the local Roundy Round Track, all the stock cars, and he also had a restaurant that he opened up in Chattanooga, Tennessee in 1940. He, he watched his dollar so much so he could race and, and support his family that he, at a time in his restaurant, he actually took out the cash register and the countertop it sits on just in order to add a couple more tables so he could seat more people to eat in there. It sounds pretty crazy, but back in those days, you could trust people. And what Charlie did is he would stand outside as the customers would leave and say, how much do you owe me? He would trust everyone that much. And people would say, well, I got this, got that, owe you this much money. And people started saying, man, Charlie, you sure are honest. So you see where this is going, Honest Charlie's. Now back to his racing, racing on the weekends. Every weekend he'd hit the roundy round track, race a stock car with his family. He knew what parts were hard to get. He knew what hot riders wanted. He knew what he wanted. So, what does someone do when they get a little frustrated on getting stuff? They open up their own business. So in 1948, Charles Edward opened up a shop called Honest Charlie Speed Shop. And one of the things that was most noted for, and again, go back and check out the history on Honest Charlie, check out his shop history and everything, but one of the things he was known for was his catalogs first started out with drawings. And of course, they didn't have the computer technology like they do now. So he drew and wrote, hand wrote out his whole entire catalog. And that's what he was known for was all the drawings and stuff. Pretty cool. There's a lot of neat pictures and stuff online about all that. 
Honest Charlie would continue to run a speed shop until he died in 1974. The guy he was in business with would continue to run it up until 1990, and that's pretty much when the business went out. It became defunct then. And it was about eight years later, about 1998, Corky Coker, Coker Tires, they acquired the name, the brand rights for Honest Charlie's and decided to reopen it as Honest Charlie's. And this is, basically this museum is right on Coker Tire. And that's where it's at now in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And Coker's done one heck of a job um, showing this company and of course keeping Honest Charlie's name alive. And again, if you're ever in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area, I, I recommend going here. The address is 1309 Chestnut Street, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And the hours, I would call before I'd go by these hours because you never know, hours always change. But uh, the hours as I know it or as of this recording is Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4. And I think it's twelve dollars to get in. I can't remember what it cost me to get in, and then it's there's a discount for seniors and military, and then there's a uh, cutoff for children where they're free under a certain age. But again, I would I would call and check the hours and stuff if uh, you're ever in, and definitely swing by and check out this place. It's really 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 neat, and I think you'll really like it. Well, it's been a couple years since I've been, and like I say, I like to stop in about every two or three years. But the last time I was there, Coker was open next door, and they were in business, and I was able to go into Coker Tire and check all that out. And I, I talked to the girl in the gift shop, or the speed shop, I should say, and she told me what went on. So we'll hear what she has to say about next door with the museum where I'm at right now. Coker's. Corky Coker is the owner of the collection back there. Right. And he retired, so he sold Coker Tire. Right. In order to retire. When did it happen? Three years ago. Okay, so it's been. So we're new as a museum, and uh, COVID shut us down for about half of that time. Oh yeah. So that's why we're still adjusting to being a restoration shop and a museum. Okay. So there's nothing over at Coker now. No, Corky got to keep. Everything of his. So what's over in that building now? It's just their corporate offices. Okay. When you're saying that there was a car down there, yeah, Kendall actually just told me yesterday he's in charge of moving and putting vehicles away because Corky likes to come in and drive some of his cars every once in a while. Yeah. But he told me, yeah, I want to put the car back there. So we have plans on um, changing up what's back here. That's where we kept all the parts. But since we're not selling parts, we have this extra space. So they're gonna repurpose that and hopefully be able to get a vehicle right exactly where you set it. So I'll have to let them know that. And hopefully we'll be able to get that positioning.
Here's that speed shot part that I was telling you about. When you first enter into the building, this is where you'll go in. And again, it's loaded with all kinds of cool stuff. You want to pick up a cool t-shirt, shop shirt, it's there. They even have a lot of neat car parts that they sell. That Electrolux vacuum cleaner, is that cool or what? <laughs> that thing is neat. I remember seeing one of those at a swap meet one time that some guy did up, and that's what that reminded me of. Like a little mini hot rod made out of an old-fashioned vacuum cleaner. There's another view of all the shirts. Signs, neon signs. they got a lot of neat stuff in here. Very impressive. All the right car parts, too, if you're doing a hot rod. Some moon tanks, dashboards. No Honest Charlie Speed Shop sign. What's a hot rod without a cool oil pan or valve covers? A lot of pictures on the wall. That's the door you'll go in to enter the museum. Hey, if this is the content you like, Make sure you subscribe because there's a lot more of this on the channel. And we'll see you on the next video on Throttle Power.